And you'll notice as we walk through here, I mean, this entire front foyer we took over uh, two years ago, repainted it, redid it. Our stores we've relayed out. We brought in new merchandise. Um, brought in merchandise that we found with our guests is hugely, um, hugely important to them. Different types of hats, bringing in the jersey shirts. And then like I talked about today, you're gonna hear from me a hundred times over. We're bringing back Shamu and his crew. That's not just a statement, that's something we're going to put back into the parks. Um, now, if someone's gonna ask me, are you bringing back the Shamu Pops? Do I, do I have them? <laughs> I know, I saw your shirt. Uh, not yet, not yet, but I got it some other ones that are really cool coming out. Um, but then if you look like Dolphin Nursery, if you remember over the years, uh, Dolphin Nursery is an original pull to the park. So, you know, for us, keep revamping it. We've turned this pool from 13 different ways it's looked. The last one we did, we went ahead and took what we had with the new windows and the rocks, lifted it up and just brought in some naturalistics to it, brought in a little bit of wood, softened it down and let our guests get even closer than they've been before. For anybody who knows how this used to look, it used to be a big fence around it. Remember, you couldn't set your kids on top of it. They weren't allowed to sit. Dwayne remembers. Took all that back, got you up really close and in person again. Um, that's the idea here. There's so much more to see, and that phrase means more than just a talking point. As you walk through the park, open your eyes and see everything we've added in. I want every guest to feel what I feel as I walk through the park. And if I can see it all, I walk this park every day of the week. As most of you know, I'm across this park three, four times a day, walking in kitchens, walking in there. Reason for that is because I get to hear the guests. Dwayne asked me why did I redo the parking lot? which I knew that question was coming. I was just wondering when. No, it's all right, Dwayne, it's a good question. Dwayne and I got a lot of history, so I'll play on him a little bit. Um, why did I redo the parking lot? Well, I didn't do it because it makes it better for my animals. I did it because it makes it better for our guests. I did it because the flow rate coming in is something that our guests told us was misery at times, and it was. We were slow at the turnstiles. We were slow at the toll booths. We couldn't get you in fast enough, so we rerouted it, we restriped it, we relayed it in a way that now, you actually can get into this park on a very busy day in 12 minutes. That's that's what we're trying to do. But on top of that, we exit faster than we've ever done. So everything's being done with true intention to make it better for our guests. Whoop, gotta go that way. Better for our guests and better for our animals. That was about to be a blooper. No, 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 no I, I, I put the yeah. hand up. We would have filmed it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Thank you, Beautiful day. Thank you for the coin. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. You'll be on every news station tonight, just so you know. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you. We'll make sure we get everybody that's supposed to be through, through, and then shut the gate. Otherwise, every guest is coming with us. Oh yeah. We got almost everybody in. So, as we walk across the bridge, a couple things I really do want to talk about. Pipeline. Pipeline, everybody's like, ah, it's been open for a year, JP. Not actually, it's not a year yet. Pipeline is one of those coasters that I truly believe have changed the coaster world. A standing surf coaster for everybody that's ridden it, it it's unbelievable. Change your feet, you change how the ride is. You ride it multiple times, it's repeatable. That's one of the greatest parts about how we're building. We're building for our guests. We're building to make sure that it's not just really a huge themed out ride, it's a ride that's impressive, that's got incredible theming laid behind it. So I'm, I'm still so excited about Pipeline, I will go to Penguin Trek and I will answer questions on Penguin Trek, but right now we're going to keep walking. Um, there's been a lot of chatter, a lot of questions about what are you doing over at Orca Stadium, JP? Uh, you, you're not answering us. You're not coming out and telling us what you're doing. I'm not, because I want to get all you guys together to talk about it. I want to do it in a way that's more than me just going online saying, hey, we're changing some things. We went and put in new Orca statues. We brought back the Orca, the Killer Wall. Whichever way you want to say it, we're bringing them back to the forefront of our park. Um, we're talking about them and we're so proud of it. Our teams down here do incredible presentations. We teach people more about sea life 
marine mammals and what goes on in our ecosystems and anybody else out there. With that said, we also need to take some time to refresh the stadium. That's, in all honesty, it's been a long time since we've gotten in there and really done an all over refresh. And there's a good reason for that because every guest wants to see our orcas. So when you say, hey, I'm gonna close the stadium down, that could be a little bit of an issue for you. But what you can do is do presentations the entire time over in G Pool and at Dine. Um, is it what I actually want to do? No, but that's how you get this project done. And then you make people work around the clock, contractors move fast because every day I'm closed, one more person is upset that they're not getting to see Orca Encounter. But what I think is really cool is you come across the bridge, you're going to see it in a minute. You're going to see this signature piece as you walk up. It used to just have a show sign. Shows at, you know, 12 noon, one, two, four. Instead now, we put this really incredible signature piece at every spot that you walk in. We put new show clocks that are modern. They're to what SeaWorld is. They're also speaking to the region that these animals are found in. So really, really excited. And being the animal guy, super excited to be able to be the guy to say, hey, we just redid Orca Stadium for you, but we didn't just do the stadium. We did the whole area. No different than what we're doing in Penguin Trek. It's not just a ride. It's an entire immersive experience. And I'll be quiet for two minutes. <laughs> Orca Encounter, start really putting that signature there. We're bringing back and cleaning up our um, F and B's up here. So as we keep going, because we're not done, you will come back and see this redone. I know what it's gonna look like, but I'm not telling you. You're gonna have to come back to see it on your own, but it's a really gonna be a really clean look. Uh, souvenir shop, simply shampoo. Just spiced it back up, brought in some new product, really lifted it back up. Remember, at the end of the night, whenever a guest walks out of here, every little kid wants one. They want a shampoo to take home with them. So we actually have them right there so you can get them. But you'll see as we come by the walls, this mural just continues all the way around. We're gonna walk all the way around, now I'll open the door. Um, we also brought the fountain back. Woo! So, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was also the guy that took the fountain down when it was destroyed and everybody did not really cheer for me. Um, but it had to come down. So we knew at that time we had a plan of where we were going to be in four years. Um, but it took time to get there. So really excited about that too, bringing it back up. It's just a signature. It's, a, it's actually one of those nostalgic pictures that everybody remembers being around the fountain with. At that time, Shamu. Well, we, we brought it back. Um, the teams that did this, really worked at a pace that I can't even start explaining. Um, Cindy Miller and our entertainment team, which some of you guys know her, her teams are ones that design all this. We don't have an outside design company putting this together. This is our in-house entertainment theming team sitting down saying, hey, what if we do this? How if we do it this way? I have a huge luxury and it's a privilege to be able to run it. I have probably the best theming team in the, in the company and also in the state of Florida. They can come up with more ideas and somehow turn it over overnight, just like everything you saw for the 60th this morning. It wasn't done outside. That was all done by our teams here. Um, just a really cool thing to talk about. But I also love that, if anybody hasn't noticed yet, we have bent dorsal fins on our pictures. Um, yeah, yeah, no, the, not all killer whales have straight dorsal fins. So to me, that was a piece that I actually really wanted because we misrepresent at times that every killer whale in the world has a straight dorsal fin. They don't. Um, the right and left brothers who are out there, there's, yeah, there's so many of them that have actually have it. So we actually stopped the print, restarted the print because I didn't like all straight. I was like, you can't do that. It's, it's undone. So there you go. Questions about this? None. All right. Keep walking. Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't like me this morning. Okay, as we go in here, we're not going to go down. We're going in on the promenade only. What did we do to the stadium? Well, we did a lot. Oh, we did a lot. Come on in. We took. I'll let everybody get in there. I'll get out of your pictures. Let me get to this. Oh, you don't want you in the picture. <laughs> so, everybody just hold in where you want, and I'll step down a couple steps and talk so that you can get 
So we took this stadium and we want, I'm going to start where most people don't see it. We took the structure itself, we, we blasted the structure, we cleaned the structure, and we recoded the structure. We also softened it. And people say, well, why, why'd you paint it brown, Jake? Well, thank you. Well, if you go into our, if you go into our stadiums now, your eyes don't hurt. It's not white. That white in the sun and the reflection actually makes it really bright. And you're like, yeah, you don't realize it until you actually change the color on it. Like, if we were standing here right now, it was white, I'd be squinting. Um, so it softened it. It also allowed us to get all the work that we needed done. Now, we did this in a very different way, and you guys were actually very courteous. A lot of you guys didn't destroy me over having a section of the stadium closed over here and over here. Um, but to do this, I have two choices. I closed the whole place out for six months, and we do it, or we do it in sections, which we did, it worked really well. Then you turn to the pool and the stage, and Okay, JP, so you made a nice roof, but what do we do down here? Well, we took the, we took the entire back step, we dropped it. We took it off, it was fiberglass, it was old, it's been up for years. We took it down and we went to a very natural wood. There's a couple reasons on the wood. The wood also is a material that's really, really good. It holds up a long time. Uh, maintenance on it is really nice for us, unlike fiberglass. If you don't know how fiberglass is over years, you gotta start doing a lot of work on it. Um, we were able to make this new design that really softened it up. The one thing that's still not there, because we're not totally done, um, there's an Orca encounter sign that goes in that doorway, which you'll see. So you're gonna have to come back to see that. Took your pool down. Everybody said, ah, oh, you drained the pool. That's gotta be easy. Not really. Two and a half million gallons, man, made salt water. Moving that is not an easy task. We've got an incredible water quality team. Shifted the water out, took it to our holding facilities, held the water, had a company come in, literally blast and pebble blast the entire pool. Take all the coating back off, take it back down to bare. From there, we were able to reseal it, find out that it's in really good condition, which is, you might say, well, <laughs> you're worried about that. I'm always worried about it. It's how old. I mean, this stadium itself was built in 80, well, 79, 80. So if you put it together, that's a long time. You know, you got 40 years. Uh, looked incredible, looked great. So then we put a new coating on, changed the color, we softened it because there's really no blue in the ocean. I've said this a thousand times. A lot of you guys have heard me say this. Um, there's browns, there's greens, there's blacks, there's really no blue. But when you do the right colors, you get a beautiful blue water. You get that deep water of blue, which has double effects. One, it looks beautiful and it's gorgeous. But two, it also stops refraction in the sunlight. So for our animals' eyes, it's better. It's better for them. They don't have to wear sunglasses, which they don't wear. So we, we like that. Um, it's just a benefit. Took the stages, softened them down. Uh, talked with our trainers and got it back to where they wanted it to be. Um, and then from there, we put in a, a backdrop up, which really, really like. It's a soft green. I think it's got a really nice look to it. Um, and then we put in graphics on the side, some window boxing in, softened it up, and then came back out uh, one week after with Orca Encounter back up, which is a testament to our teams, what they do. What I did find is we came out here and did a lot of sessions. So we did presentations in the stadium and started listening to the feedback. People love watching our teams work with our animals. It's the part they love. So we're taking that away and looking at some ideas as we do our Orca Encounter presentations. There's opportunities throughout the year where we can do some of those sessions back with our guests, promote that and put it out for you. Any questions? None. Man, I am doing good. <laughs> What's the capacity? 5,500 people. 5,500 people. And it's been full. It's been full ever since we reopened it. It's been packed, which is really nice. It's fun to hear the cheers. It's fun to watch it. It's fun to feel. Everybody loves to eat. Um, it comes up all the time. We do incredible events here. I love our events. We're in seven seas right now. 28 incredible food huts, 200 plus offerings of different types of food. But we also redid L2 Burger for the speed. Um, and also for the quality on the food that we're serving. We also did, we did Waterway Grill. We opened brand new Dockside Pizza. Uh, Coaster Coffee Express. Everybody's been talking about, I want coast, I want coffee on the south side of the park, JP. I do not want to have to walk all the way across the bridge. So as we walk out of here, I'm gonna show you those restaurants because we did a lot of investment to make sure, one, we modernized it, but two, we also took in consideration, how do we get guests through faster? I do not want to stand in line for an hour to get my lunch. I, I hear that, I get emails all the time about it. Uh, we put in some technology with MassGen um, 
cash registers and people are like, what's a mass jam? It's a really cool technology. Set your stuff underneath, the cameras look at it, tells you your bill, ring it up and walk away. Um, really, really great, really excited because the throughput is so much faster. You're able to go through. So like pretzel we have in there, got it at dockside. I have it on one side, uh, right behind you here in Orca Stadium. Um, we've got it in some of our marketplaces as we go through the park. But I do want to walk you out. I want to show you LT Burger. I'd like to go to Dockside, Coaster Coffee, Waterway Grill, and then we'll end the day over at Agriculture. Yes, ma'am. Um, we couldn't hear. What are the new statues made out of, did you say? They I did like... not say. No one oh, asked. Okay. So they're, a, they're a form fiberglass that is actually textured painted. So it looks like it's wood. Yes, yes. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I mean, if you see the pods are all swimming with them, sort of a sort of a neat layout. Um, I can't tell you something that I haven't say, said yet, but I can you that underwater viewing is going to get a full uh, facelift too, coming soon. Coming soon. All right, let's go look at some restaurants. Did you have questions? Yeah. We're going to head out this way. Okay, all right, well, we're not you following you. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for joining, and I missed out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that much, Jen. Oh, shit. You haven't missed that much yet. Oh, i got to shut the door. You guys got to come out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dressed up the inside, but took the service style on the west side into a pay first style. And if you haven't, if you've ever been in parks, you have a couple options. You have self pay, you got pay first, and then you have uh, cafeteria style. So pay first style actually allows, instead of a transaction at a cafeteria style, from the time you're in the line till you're out of the line, it's about seven and a half minutes on a good day. It's a good day moving fast. On a bad day, that can be like 15 to 20 minutes. That's a terrible run. Um, pay first, I can turn that to about two and a quarter minutes. Um, I can expedite from the kitchen faster, which means we can turn your food out hotter, cleaner, much, much more um, quality standards are up higher, um, about 42 seconds from cook to out. Um, so really excited about it. This, this area, anybody that knows Cyril's history of L2 Burger, um, used to be Mango Joe's at one time, we turned to L2 Burger. The line for burgers here all day long go down the pathway, they used to. Well, we've been able to turn that around, so still have a cafeteria style on that side. Works very well, but on this side, we have a pay first model. Pick it up, walk in, expedite it to your hand, you're out, have a good day, I can get you in and out much, much quicker. So super excited about it. Um, we're gonna make a U-turn here in a minute, but that's what it is. Uh, these kind of investments seem small, or you're like, well, JP, is that really that big of a deal? For when you've got 25,000 guests in the park, speed of service is a huge deal. I look and listen to reports and listen to guests who call about speed of service, cleanliness of the park, courtesy of our employees. There is a focus that we've got right now on speed of service, so we're investing in speed of service, cleanliness. We're investing on technology to help with that, also on training with our staff to ensure we get back to that standard that's expected, and then courtesy of our employees. If you walk around the park, we got what we call a smile card. I've always got them in my pocket everywhere I go. We got a pack of them. If you smile and say hello to me as an employee, you get a lunch. Free lunch on me, you get a raffle for some things, you might get a weekend on me. Um, if a guest calls me and says, hey, this individual, when I came in, helped me with this, this, and this, got a whole nother tier that we go to. Um, the, the importance of the park is how it looks, how it feels, but how you feel when you leave. So as we invest all this major capital into making our service faster, our facilities better, cleaner, we've redone nine bathrooms in this park. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh, bathrooms are important, very important. So we've been redoing bathrooms, we've been redoing restaurants. So we're gonna walk and see Dockside in that, but I wanted to point it out, I wanna explain why, to me, this walk and talk, talking about this, might seem benign, but this is actually what makes a family say, hey, I had the best day of my life at SeaWorld. And when I was a kid, I came to SeaWorld, Ohio with my family. I have pictures because it was the best days of our lives. We used to go there, have a great day and out, but it's the service that you remember. You'll remember my restaurant, you'll remember my food, you'll remember my killer wells, but if you remember that guest and that employee engagement, 
then I've won. So that's what we're starting to try to make sure it's the full package back in. So we're gonna walk this way. And of course we got Glacier Bar. I love Glacier Bar. Don't forget about Seven Seas. Seven Seas and her concerts. Can't really miss it, it's all over the park. Um, opens at noon on Thursdays, runs through Sundays. Oh, look, for employees making a connection with our guests is more important than our feelings. There's that dollar thing we put on. A hello goes a lot further, a smile goes further than anything else in a day. If I'm having the worst day at SeaWorld, and I walk up and say, hey, how can I help you? I'm sorry you're having a bad day, what can we do? That day just reversed, I can turn it around. Or I could go the other way, ignore you, walk past, and I just accelerated the problems. So, as a company, we're looking at our guest sets, we're looking at our employees, putting time into training our employees to understand how to make that recovery. Um, also, if you don't have to recover it, we can be ahead of it, it's even better. So, that's what All right, and you said that you will actively treat your employees to lunch. Yes, yes. If you catch them doing something good, yes. or if they say hello to you. Ah, uh, they say hello, they smile, they say hi to a guest. Uh, you name it, uh, have your PPE on. That'll get you one too. So if you're cutting butter and you got okay. your cut glove on, you'll, you'll get a smile card too. Yeah, look, it's, it's that what simple. You call, it a smile card? call it a smile card. Can I see it? You can see it. I want to see the smile card. There's a smile card for you. All right, let's get a picture of the smile card. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Any, any truth to the there? rumor that uh, Wild Arctic might be getting a new ride in a year or two? Wow. <laughs> oh, man, there's a lot of rumors out there. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> that was a great question. It's a great question. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible question as we continue to go through the park to grow every year. We're investing more and more back into the park. What our next one is, as you guys know, I'll let you know when we're ready to let you know. So talking about Penguin Trek really quick, when are you guys going to have the uh, front car available to you? Uh, what do you guys have for uh, Pipeline? Yeah, so you want to know when I'm going to put a car out for you to be able to see it. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to help you a little bit here. I can tell you I have a train on the track. How's that? Does that help you? There's a teaser. There's a teaser for you. I got a train on the track. So anybody that doesn't know, coasters are called trains. Um, but yes, we have a train on the track. Oh, super excited. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's coming. I'm telling you. But you know I can't tell you all of it. If I tell you it all, then I, I've given up all my fun. Agree with me. Other question. That train is cool. With that smile card, what? Is Pizza is three years in the making. I will say you guys have seen walls around it for a long time. Um, signature personal pizzas for you. Uh, we got five offerings in there. The, the really great part about Dockside Pizza is what we're missing in the park. Always here, hey, do you have pizza? Where do you have pizza? Well, I have it at Expedition. Well, Expedition's right now down, but Expedition only offered a cheese or a pepperoni. It was a pizza, but it wasn't really a pizza pizza place. Um, we opened this up and you're always nervous when you open a new restaurant. You don't know what it's gonna do. You, you have your gut and say, that's gonna be it. Well, this is, this is exactly what we expected. Incredible pizza, great service, fast, hot food. Uh, you can go on this side for pay first, or you can go through the glass doors and use my mass gens, pick your pizzas up, set them underneath, and come right back out. A lot of people buying them to go, take them right into Orca for the show, sit down, have dinner, and watch the whales, which I think is absolutely incredible. I will tell you why I know Dockside works. My hardest critic, my wife, and she is my hardest critic of this park. She walks this park and gives me opinions that no one else would give me. Um, called me when she ate our Bianca pizza. She's like, that is the best pizza I've ever had in a park. I was like, all right, all right, I'll take that win because she, she has no problem telling me she doesn't think it's the best pizza she's ever had. So really excited about it, but then put Coaster Coffee Express in. Um, again, that offering that we were missing. People wanted coffee on this side of the park. Um, unbelievably, people like donuts in the evening too. It's, a, it's an interesting thing. It's not me, but it's a very interesting thing. So put them in. They've been, they've been a huge win with our um, guests and our past and really excited about that. Any questions? You guys want to walk in and see a mask yet? I'm happy to walk through the doors. Come on.
Come on, Miss E. Come up here. Come up here, Miss E. Surprise. Surprise. Okay. Dockside Pizza, to, just to tell who does all the magic around here, it's Ms. D. Ms. D, how long have you been here? Um, 31 years. 31 yeah! years. Yeah! Awesome. Ms. D and Sophie and I, Sophie's over at Waterway, she's been here how many years? Sophie's been here, I want to say 28. 28, she's a short time, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Ms. D runs this, she runs Altitude, or Pretzel, this, and uh, Coaster Coffee. I always tease her because Miss D can run this kitchen faster than anybody else. Anybody. Um, if I got a problem in this kitchen, I can call Miss D, and all of a sudden, for some reason, it all turns around as soon as she shows up. Right? Yes. Um, but I, I love giving the credit back to the people that actually do it. Um, I'm the guy that gets to make the decision and say, hey, we're going to do this, and we're going to reinvest, and we're going to put this together with our senior leadership. Miss D and her team are the ones that execute it and actually make it for our guests. The one thing you never see out of Miss D. She always smiles. She's always smiling. And I love it. I, I talk about smile cards, but this is why. This is a heartbeat of SeaWorld. It's not JP. It's a Miss D. It's her kitchen. It's her cook. She's embarrassed as all get out that I'm doing this for her. I know that. But this is the person throughout our park. We've got almost 5,000 Miss D's around here. They, they love what they do. They, they appreciate it. They put forward more effort and more love to our guests than they ever get recognition for. So that's why I want to walk in because I saw Miss D on the back side. I was like, oh, no, no, you're not getting out of this one. If you guys got any questions, I'll answer them, but Miss D's going to stand with me. <laughs> I won't put you on that side. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any questions about the restaurant? These are mass gens. So I keep talking about them. Do we have a box? So I can show them how it works. I can use this. I'll use that. All right. So say you want to buy this drink and this drink. This is how quick I can get you in and out of our service now. Put it down, rings it up, there you go. Pay for it and get out the door. That's how it goes. And if I put a whole family menu on there, as long as I stay inside the black window, it'll all ring up. So we throw two pizzas. That great family that says, hey dad, I want extra pepperoni, I'm hungry again. Not a problem. You throw the pizza on, throw the other pizza on, rearrange a little bit. Let's see. Oh, there they are. On and gone. That's it. You pay and you're out the door. This is the type of technology that's allowing our guests to come in here faster and quicker. Then you say, hey, I'm a past member, JP. Do I get my discount? Of course. Miss D's got a QR code for you, she'll walk over, whoever's working it, they'll scan it, you get your discount pay and you're out the door. So this is the kind of things that we're putting investments into that allow Miss D to be able to run her shop faster, quicker, and with better service to every guest that walks in. I won't embarrass you. <laughs> It'll burn into your legs if you do it too many times. <laughs> So we're going to stop right up here. We'll get everybody and I'll talk. If you want to see how many twists and turns we're talking about and how this track goes, this is the spot to stand and look. Um, we'll step forward to the next spot, but I want everybody to see how much we intertwine this. We've got 3,042 feet of track, I believe. I might be off by a foot there. Don't quote me. Um, we've got two launches, but we have twists and turned this throughout. Um, there's a point where Manta and Penguin Trek pretty much cross each other. Um, it's a really neat effect, it's really cool. Manta's on this side, Penguin Truck's out on this side, but taking the entire realm back, taking the footprint. If you remember what this was, this whole area back here was a closed off area to our guests. This used to have, years ago, said our Koi Pond, our um, Asian hut were here. Um, we went ahead and went through there, leveled it back down. As you can see, put the ride in, but I think this just gives you the, the sense of how big this is. And this is a 42 inch ride. So that's the coolest part. This is families. This is families that are able to ride again. You launch out, you take your two launches, you come back in, you go right back into the um, launch station. When you get off, you walk right into uh, embarking uh, in-person one-on-one meet and greet with the penguins. Um, really bringing back what our penguins are about. And this ride speaks to it the whole time. 
But like I said, as we step forward, you'll see more work. We're, we're not just doing a ride. I'm also redoing the expedition in there. So the entire realm. We've taken the realm, which is incredible, but it had a lot of older stuff that we've taken off. We're doing a redo on the realm itself, on color, on paint, refreshing it, the decks, um, putting in some shade, uh, putting a, putting in at Expedition, I'm putting in a really cool bar. I'm not gonna tell you much more about that, but a really cool bar is gonna be there. And then we got a whole new exit retail. So there's a whole nother side as you come out of this ride that you're gonna see new product, a new way of looking at it. Did not get rid of Glacier, to be clear, for everybody's fan favorite, going in and seeing Puck and all that at Glacier. I still have Glacier Supply, it's there. Um, but I, that's why I wanted to walk today's show, talk about stuff. Happy to talk about this too, but if you guys have any questions, I'm here. But I think this speaks to how we're taking rides and animals. We're intertwining them again and making sure that our guests don't only get the greatest experience, but we have an opportunity to teach them about the conservation, what they can do for these animals moving forward to make sure that our grandchildren still see them. Any questions? Inside yes, Expedition, will there be a revamped menu? Yes, sir. <laughs> Not going to tell you what yet. <laughs> yes, sir. And the new bar is inside. Ah, I didn't say that. I said there's a new bar. Oh, okay. The new bar. Huh? I'm not, I'm not even going to give that away yet. Awesome. No, no. Thank but you. there is a new bar. And it's a cool bar. I actually like it. I walked through it yesterday. So, it's cool. Cool being the Ah, oh, come oh. on. <laughs> it's chilly. That's a good fun. Yeah, chilly. It's good fun, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Absolutely not. Everybody's got to sit in the sweltering oh, sun as I do everything better. <laughs> yes. Great. No, there will be indoor dining. There's, we were refreshing in there too. And then the other one, will there still be a non-rider access if you pick one? No. If you don't ride, you don't ride. Yeah, yeah, of course. Are you kidding? Yes, we have a we have a non-rider access, a walkthrough only, of course. Um, meets all our ADA regulations. So whoever has that question for me, of course. Um, Got a quick queue that'll be able to go on it. Um, really great. The queue itself is inside and outside. Air conditioned queue in the state of Florida. I'm a happy guy. Um, there's so many things about this ride that I'm so excited to show you when we get there. And I know everybody wants to know, JP, when are you opening? Yeah. Soon, guys. Spring. Spring. It's coming. Spring. It's coming. Listen, spring started yesterday. When's it end? <laughs> Other questions? Guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. If you ever want to reach out to me, you guys know how to get Jeanette. You know how to get uh, Nicole or myself. Just reach out. And I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank, Thank you again. You. Enjoy your day. Thank you don't have to run out here. You can take pictures. Thank you, guys. Enjoy. I'll see you.